Hi, welcome back to SH YouTube channel. In this video, we are discussing about how we can rebuild or delete RDS license from a RDS host server. In our previous YouTube video, we have discussed about how we can install RDS license on a Windows server. So I will I will leave the link for that video in the description box. But to Today in this video we are discussing about how we can delete or rebuild those already installed RDS card license from the server. So the first question arises related to that rebuild or delete is why we need to rebuild or delete RDS license installed on a server. Well sometimes we came across such a situations like we need to add more uses to the RDS user call license type that we discussed earlier in our previous video or need to change the type of license in the RDS call server into a device call or another scenario is suppose the installed license has become corrupted in such cases we can correct those issues by rebuilding or deleting the current RDS license installed in the server. So let's see how we can rebuild or delete the RDS license from a RDS host server. For that, first we need to log into the RDS host server. So let me first log into the RDS host server. Type the password of our server and the windows remote desktop connection will automatically log in this is the certificate as confirmation window click yes okay now we logged into the rd source server we can see the RDS host license server status from server manager and remote desktop services. Click on service, right click the server name. There you can see RD license manager. Expand the old service window. There we can see our license server name. Expand the server name by clicking the plus icon so now in the right side we can see the installed RDS call licenses here we can see the RDS license type we installed is per user license type and we have allowed two uses so in this server there is no issues with the RDS licensing server that's why we are seeing the green tick icon now let's assume that our license is corrupted or we need to upgrade the allowed uses in the server to 10 in such cases we need to rebuild the RDS call license so for that we can do this by two methods one is rebuilding the existing RDS call license the other option is delete the Install RDS call license and then install a new one. So let's see the first option how we can rebuild the RDS call license. For that, select the server name and right click use manage license option. Click the next. There, choose rebuild the license server database. Select a reason for rebuilding the RDS licensing database. In our case, let's just choose the certificate for the license server has become corrupted. Click on next. Confirm the deletion of license currently installed on the license server. Click next. Now we can see the content of RDS license server has been deleted. Now the next option is we need to begin the new installation of RDS card license. So click on next. 
select the license program these options are just like the installation procedure we followed in the previous video choose the license program as service board license number click on next enter the license number click on next select the product version as 2019 because this server is os version is windows server 2019 choose the license type as rds per user card give the number as 10 click on next here we can see the reinstallation licensing is progressing and that will complete the reinstallation process in this video i just give the licensing number as a random number that's why we are getting the license error but it's fine if you give the right licensing number the installation will get completed so that's how we can rebuild the rds card license on a rds host server so now click the cancel this is the one option we can use for rebuilding the rds card license now let's see how we can delete the already installed rds card license uh, we can achieve that using powershell commands so for that i just pre prepared a notepad with the powershell commands that we we are using so let let me get get those commands see this get vmid object is the command to get the licenses installed on our server host this command will list the rd rds licenses installed on the rd zone so let's issue this command first in the server get powershell and issue the command and we can see at this moment only one uh, rds car license is installed and let's note down the key key pack id this is the id we new we use to delete the rds car license installed so for removing the currently installed rds car license we need to use the key pad id as 2 so the next command is the this is the command you use to to list the rds car licenses installed in the server so that's next that will the key pad id and the licenses corresponding license number we can also get the key pad id from the remote desktop manager itself the rd license from rd licensing manager we can also see the key pad id from here or we can also get that number by using the command i have just used so that next command is the delete command and the command is let me just copy paste it and replace the last key pad key pad id variable with the original id of license in our case it's 2 so type the number as 2 and hit enter now we can see that the method execution successful this means that the license has been successfully deleted or uninstalled from the server okay the another option to delete rds license is by deleting the database file the location for that file is c windows system 32 i server and in that folder we can see tls lic edb file this is the license database file for rds license so if you delete or move the file from the server the license automatically will get deleted so these are the things we discuss about rds car license rebuild or delete i hope this video is informative for you see you in the next video